Sure. Senator Vance, Chris Cameron of the New York Times, uh, you were talking about the relationship between crime and immigration, and my question is on that issue. Please. In an interview uh, when you were running for Senate in September 2021, you were speaking with Jack Murphy, and you were talking about previous waves of immigration to the United States. You said the following. You had this massive wave of primarily Italian, Irish, and German immigration, and that had its problems and that had its consequences. You pointed to these problems as being higher crime rates, ethnic enclaves, and inter-ethnic conflict. Should the United States have prescribed similar policies to what you're proposing now, including mass deportation, to deal with those issues? Well, first of all, I also said there were a lot of benefits to that wave of immigration, but has anybody ever seen the movie Gangs of New York? That's what I'm talking about. We know that when you have these massive ethnic enclaves forming in our country, it can sometimes lead to higher crime rates. What we want is an American immigration pro policy that promotes assimilation, that no matter where you come from, you can become an American, but only if we have an immigration policy that promotes assimilation instead of doing things like what we've done over the last few years, which is have 20, 25 million illegal aliens just setting up shop here with no control, no enforcement, and no real ability to police what's going on. That is a disaster. And in fact, what we did back in the early 20th century is that we recognized, and I think that we have to do that today, we recognize that at a certain level, America is a welcoming country to immigrants, but can only take so many people. We cannot take the entire world into this country. And I think that we're at a stage right now where we have to say we've got to slow those illegal immigration levels to zero. We do have to deport some people who have come here illegally. And I think that will promote assimilation and a common American culture that's in the best interest of everybody. Look, I'm, I'm married to the daughter of South Asian immigrants. One of the reasons why I think that we have such a wonderful and successful marriage is because we both very much feel like America is our home, like our children belong here. What, what happens when you have massive amounts of illegal immigration, it actually starts to create ethnic conflict. It 